Hey everybody, Johnny Arclight here. Welcome back to the Cat Lady. So we were just murdered, but thankfully I believe we are immortal thanks to the Queen of Maggots. Now, I, I don't know where we are exactly. We could be in some weird dreamlike stage. What's this? Examine. I wonder what it does. Pull it. Oh. Oh! Fuck you, dude. That's an eyeball. Sure did. Who... who are you? Nah, I'm good. Let's get the hell out of here. Say what? Where are those doors? I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I feel it as soon as I can miss them. Okay. There's two doors. Well, that's creepy. That's Susan like my girls. I knew she would. They're a bit creepy. Whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. But they are yet to guide, Susan. They are the guardians of the doors. They know which door she should enter to get the rewards. But there is one problem. There's always a problem. I'm not even surprised. Which door should I go through? I will leave that to Susan's own best judgment. But this might be her only chance to find what she had lost. Waste it. And Susan will never get it back. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. She must use it wisely. Fine. I can do that. But what's the catch? It's very simple. One of my girls always tells the truth, while the other one always lies. So one and always I'm tells the truth, and one always tell lies. Which is which? It's something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. But does it really matter? What I'm questioning is also the leads to find the right door. Insult. Which door should I enter? Which door will re lead to my reward? Which door will take me back to my world? Is the door to the left the one I should open? Is the door to the right the one? Which door would the other doll point me to? Is the other doll a liar? Oh gosh, which door should I not enter? Hmm, is the other doll a liar? Oh, gosh. Oh, can I not go back? Oh, fuck. Alright. Which question should I ask to get this reward? Is there, like, a caveat here that I haven't seen? Which door should I not enter? She'll just point to the one that I shouldn't enter or the one that I should. Which door would you enter to get the reward? If I enter the left door, will I get a reward? Is the other doll a liar? That seems like... Which door would the other doll point me to? Okay. I... It seems like no matter what I do, it's going to be a 50-50 chance. 
Is the door to the left the one I should open? Is the door to the right the one I should enter? Which door would the other doll point me to? Which door would the other doll point me to? The other doll would point me to the right door. So you would say I should go to this one. However, if you're a liar, you would say that she would tell me to go to this one. Right? And if you're telling the truth, you would tell me that she wants to go to this one. <laughs> oh god. And if she's a liar, she would tell me to go to the wrong one. But if she's the if she's truthful, she'd tell me to go to the other one. So I'm not really sure. The other doll would tell me to go to this one. So says she. I'm gonna go to this one. Let's do it. Is, is this supposed to be my reward? Flowers. I hate flowers. You lied to me. You lied. It's your really thing that will be anything precious waiting for you here. Look at the lovely roses. Just like everything else in the room. They just turn into so there wasn't like a reward no matter what I picked. All right. All right, let's just get out of here. Oh. And look where we are. Do I have to blow out another candle? I'll do it. I mean, I can't feel too bad about that, because she was on the verge of death anyway. What is that awful noise? It's a body bag. Go ahead and open it up. Ah. 
it's me again. It's always me. Oh, but I'm not dead. Oh shit, that's actually me. I woke up in a body bag. Oh my god. You treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. Oh, shit, we're going after him, aren't this we? This means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. I think it's time to find out how very mortal you are, Doctor. What we got here? I think I'll take it. The suicide note I wrote, huh? Another unlucky victim of the killer. This one looks like she's been dead for a long time. Old rusty door. I'm assuming he wouldn't bother locking it since he thinks everybody in here is a corpse. Well, of course, I'm not a prisoner here. He thought I was dead. You should never take things for granted, Doc, because this might just be the biggest mistake you've ever made. Pick up. Why would I pick the chair up? Oh, I got you. Lucky I didn't sit in it. Still, this wooden leg might be of some use. Just needs a bit of an edge to it. Why did I do that? Can I wash my hands of all this blood? Oh, okay. What do we have here? I saw something... <gasps> Ooh, let's take a saw blade. We're going to find all kinds of creative things to murder you with, Doc. Just you wait, buddy. The body is quite badly decomposed already. While real art lasts forever, Doc's models will soon rot and fall apart. That sick man, how did he manage to hide all this madness? Guess he couldn't get a hold of an ermine, so he used this creepy baby doll instead. Take doll's head. I could probably find some use for this. Susan, you crazy. God, it's Liz. But it's impossible. I spoke to her last night. I tried to stop her from jumping. And yet here she is, stuck on a metal rod, looking like she's been dead for a lot longer than that. What happened then? Was it just a dream? Am I really going crazy? Or was she really there, just already dead? Search body. Her pockets are empty. Take her down. I hope at least you will find some peace in death, Liz.
This must be the only way out of here. Locked. Can we use this on the door? Not here. It's Mona Lisa! But with an actual person. Oh, God. I've seen something like this before, the living paintings. Except this here is a dead body suspended on wires and tied to a chair. Yep, that's horrifying. You're gonna pay for this, you bastard. What do we got here? Skeleton! Fake skeleton. A bolt? I'll take it. Is that a workbench? Are we gonna craft our tool? Doctor probably considers himself quite an artist. Yeah, I bet he does. Let's use it. We're gonna use this. And this. What else we got? We got chair leg. Use that. Oh, that's sick weapon, yo. That's it. I could take it now. The bolt needs to be secured in place. Now, otherwise, it will just fall apart. Uh, I can't do anything with wet soap here. All right, we need to find another item then. Turn the room. I have a weapon. Oh, there's a nut. Oh, I know what we can use the soap for. Her limp body is positioned in the exact same way as the painting. Seems the killer used wire to keep her head tilted to the side. My god, dude. It's a wrench, might be useful. Alright, let's take this and we'll finish creating the metal rod. And then whoever's screaming in there will go visit them. <laughs> Why not? Seems like it'd be a lot of fun, right? Alright. Okay, tighten the nut. The weapon's complete. Suppose it's time to go see the good doctor. Alright, let's go find him.
here I come, you sick fuck. I don't need eyes to enjoy your fear. Scream louder, little bitch. Scream your lungs out. Louder, I said. He's punching her in the stomach. Oh. Yes, this is by far my favorite of songs. Would you like me to dance for you? Unlike you, I know all art needs to be appreciated. Your scream is like a poem without words. Doctor, your time of reckoning is here. Your body, an instrument. I never thought you had it in you. And yet you make every fiber in my body tremble with excitement. Can we kill him quickly? I don't want her to forever be admired. By those like me. I don't want him to kill her. The only pure and true form of art. Can we kill him now? I'm ready. Oh. Here I come. Here I come, doctor. Do you believe in karma, doc? I enjoyed that very much. He finally got what he deserved. I hope he rots in hell. And I rescued the girl. Thank you. Thank you so much. He would have, he would have killed me, like the others, the animal. You, you gave him what he deserved. He deserves much worse than that. Who are you? They call me the cat lady. Now get out of here. Call the police. I'm going home. They call me the cat lady. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode here. We killed the doctor. We killed that fucking bastard. And it felt really good to kill him. I should have said what's up, doc. Missed opportunities. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Do what you guys do best. And I will see you guys again in the next episode. Bye bye